Welcome back to day number five of Simple Fitness with Maniki Fit here. Um, before we get started, I'm a big believer on just supporting local businesses, restaurants, um, anything just like that. Um, so if you ever are out east in the Coburg area, go check out William Street Beer, owned by my buddy Sean Walpole. Um, shout out to you, Sean. Um, again, just supporting local businesses um, out there during these tough times. So we're gonna get in today's workout, all right? So today's workout is gonna consist of a warm-up of 50 front jacks. Then today's conditioning is gonna consist of five sets of five up-downs, 10 high knees, 15 deadlifts, and 20 skips, all right? Once that's done, we're gonna end the session with a couple poses in some stretches um, from the straight leg forward fold to the lying supine twist and a child's pose, all right? So let me just quickly go over the movements, talk about it before we get going, um, and hopefully you guys have a good workout, all right? So take a look. Here are what 50 front jacks look like, all right? I'm just gonna demonstrate a few. One, two, three, four. So it's just the same as a simple jumping jack, but rather our hands going off to the side, our hands are just gonna fly forward and up, and then come back down as we close our legs. 50 of those just to warm up. Once we've done 50, just catch your breath. Then we're gonna go over the movements of today's conditioning. Again, five sets of five up downs, 10 high knees, 15 deadlifts, and 20 skips. Let's start with the up downs. The up downs are simply a burpee without the push up. Let me demonstrate two. One and two, okay? If I'm not comfortable jumping my feet out and back in, by all means, feel free to come into a plank, step, 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 and stand right up. Five of those. High knees, we're simply gonna just bring our hands to about belly button level, and we're gonna just try to hit them. One, two, three, four, five, six, till we get to 10, all right? So that's five each leg. And we're gonna talk about the deadlift here, all right? We're gonna to wanna to deadlift an object of some sort, all right? I got a dumbbell here, I got a kettlebell here, or even a backpack, all right? So if we are gonna say, let's say use a kettlebell, we're gonna go feet shoulder width apart with the object right down the middle, okay? I'm gonna keep my arms nice and stiff. I'm gonna think about hinging from the hips, all right? I'm gonna push my bum back, back is straight. Let me demonstrate. One, two, and three. Okay, so again, with that back nice and tight, with the tummy tight, I'm keeping my arms nice and stiff, not bending, but rather keeping it straight. And again, driving through my hips with a slight bend of my knees, keeping my eyes slightly up, and squeezing my glutes as I stand. Okay, I'm gonna complete 15 reps of that. Again, if you don't have a dumbbell, a kettlebell, you could use a backpack, again, Fill it with some bucks or some goods. Going down the middle. One, two, 15, okay? Then we could opt out for 20 skips to end that round, okay? Now you could use a skipping rope or if you don't have a skip, skipping rope, you could just simply be in the spot and hop 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, till you get to 20, okay? So you're gonna proceed through those four movements for five total sets as quickly as you can, okay? So five up downs, 10 high knees, 15 deadlifts, and 20 skips, okay? Five sets for time. When you are done, all right? This one's gonna be a sweaty one, that's for sure, all right? Your goal is to try to get that under about the 10 minute mark, all right? So really push the pace here, all right? safely but yet push that pace okay last set of movements we're going to practice here are just a couple cool down stretches that we're going to want to hit up all right we're going to try to hold one minute per pose all right so the first one being that straight legged forward fold all we're going to simply do is sit on our butt legs together and we're just going to think about getting that chest to melt into your knees okay hands are going to reach forward and we're gonna just simply breathe here for a minute. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Nice and easy, again, allowing that chest 
to sink into those knees, into those thighs. If you can't touch your toes, can't touch your feet, no big deal. Just fold forward as much as you can and kind of let that minute take you. Again, just to relieve a bit of the hamstrings and low back that we're gonna to target today, okay? Second stretch here is that supine lying twist, all right? Let me just move these objects. All you're gonna simply do, lay on your back, take your left leg over the right side of your body and twist. All right, we're gonna hold that one side for one minute, take the other side, twist, hold it for another minute, okay? And lastly here, we got the child pose, okay? Just this nice finisher here. We're gonna go feet together, knees together, hands placed forward, and we're just gonna think about sinking that chest to the floor. All right, we're gonna hold that for one minute to cool down here. Um, again, this is day number five of Simple Fitness, brought to you by Manikey Fit. Follow us on Instagram, IGTV. Subscribe on our YouTube channel, Manikey Fit. Um, and again, support your local business. Again, if you're in Coburg, check out William Street Beer. They got some good stuff. We'll see you tomorrow, all right? Take care.